Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently packing for my upcoming trip to Hawaii, which I leave for tomorrow. And um, I thought that while I'm packing and pulling everything together, I'd film a quick video sharing some of like the high level and really essential things to take with you on this kind of trip. The trip is gonna be quite varied and mixed. It's gonna be a very active trip. So we're gonna be doing some scuba diving, some hiking, some trail running, going for nice dinners, hanging around the beach. Like it's gonna be quite varied. Um, but with all these activities obviously you want to make sure that you're taking the right things you want to make sure that you're taking kind of outfits and pieces that you're going to wear that are going to be really versatile so um, yeah I hopefully you find this helpful and it will give you a few ideas and pointers if you're also planning for a similar trip to this I'm actually heading there with Apple on a <laughs> Vino has entered the video who always manages to find his way into my videos don't you hi Bobs <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm heading there on a really exciting press trip with Apple to celebrate and experience the new Apple Ultra Watch which they just launched. It is kind of like their active watch, so it's great for hiking and trail running and diving. There's actually an app that integrates into the watch so you can use the watch as a scuba diving computer which is amazing. And so we're going to be there basically experiencing all these different activities so we can properly put the watch to the test. And I've never been to um, the Big Island before we're heading to Kona I've been to Maui like years ago with my family but I've not been to any of the other islands so it'll be a brand new experience and I'm very excited so as I mentioned we will be scuba diving um, we have been on a lot of dive trips in the past and um, whenever we go anywhere where we can dive or where we can snorkel I'll usually take uh, a mask with me um, my fins and a few other essentials I just personally quite like having those things on my own especially with diving masks it is really good to have one that you know fits your face obviously like the rental dive masks are great but if you're going somewhere and you know you're going to be doing a few dives or you're learning to dive or you know you're going to be doing quite a bit of snorkeling it is actually really valuable just having your own mask because every mask fits differently every face is different um, and when you have a mask that doesn't fit properly then it leaks it fogs up and it it's just not comfortable so um this mask is super cool yours look like a frog when you wear scuba mask, I'm not going to put it on because I'm just going to look like an idiot. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take my mask with me. I also have a prescription mask, which um, I find is really valuable to have. I do wear contact lenses and like sometimes when we're on trips, if we're doing a lot of dives, my eyes get really dry and I like to just have a prescription mask so I don't have to wear my lenses. So I'm going to be taking this. Also going to be taking my fins. So these are my scuba pro fins i've had these for quite a few years and they're super cool and they just fit really nicely they're really good quality but they're also really lightweight which is obviously very important when you're going on a trip hello fina <laughs> um but yeah i love these fins so i'm going to be taking these with me i'm also going to be taking my beach water shoes with me i wear these all the time in vancouver like in the summer when we walk in fino it's so helpful just having these kind of boots and we can wade in the water and um you know we don't have to worry about getting our shoes wet but it is actually quite nice to wear these kind of boots with fins just because sometimes the fins can rub a little bit uh, but these are great too if you're going to be like snorkeling or if you're going to be out on the rocks or surfing or whatever it's just nice to have these just to protect your feet a little bit and they are super super lightweight another useful thing I keep moving the camera <laughs> another useful thing which um is really great to have when you dive is ibuprofen so especially if you haven't dough before you haven't done it in a while or if you just have quite sensitive ears the pressure change can kind of just be a lot on your ears for me personally I find that happens a lot after like the first day of diving my ears just get like just a little bit sore if ever um, you struggle to equalize taking ibuprofen will just help to kind of um, bring down any inflammation and it just helps to open up your ears a bit so ibuprofen is always really valuable to have when you're diving uh, I am going to be taking a dive computer just in case, it's always nice to have that with me. Um, but when you dive, you can usually rent that from um, the dive shops anyway. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so I have this little um, running belt actually. So this will be really good for the trail run that we're gonna do. Um, it's actually really cool because, oh, it has dog treats in there. <laughs> every single every pocket of everything has dog treats in it uh, yeah I quite like using this because it just it hooks around your waist and this stretches out so it's big enough um, to fit your iPhone in and you basically just 
have it around your waist like that and it doesn't move and I prefer it to like the arm strap. So I'm gonna be taking that with me because it's really nice and lightweight. Else, I think that's pretty much it for like active stuff. Um, in terms of active clothing, I'm gonna be taking quite a bit of like fitness gear when I go to the gym while I'm there. Obviously it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be like I think 30 odd degrees, which will just be lovely. I'm so excited for that. But I'm gonna be taking a couple of pairs of bike shorts. These ones are just from Aritzia. I really love their bike shorts um, and they're great because obviously good for act being active. You know, what are you stealing? I was stealing socks for God's sake. <laughs> um, yeah, bike shorts are great. We're taking some sports bras. I'll take probably this hoodie and um, another sweater. Maybe this one, which is also from Aritzia. This one is super cute, a nice little crop hoodie. Um, and obviously like trainers, flip flops, that kind of thing. So that kind of covers the active stuff. Um, in terms of toiletries actually no let's do tech first so um i actually just got this because uh, mine broke but i'm going to be taking a little power bank which is really really valuable to have when you're on the move when you're hiking when you're doing stuff and so you can charge up your phone um obviously taking as well my camera as well as like batteries sd card hard drive i could go on and on and on with this list um, a gopro is always a really fun thing to have whenever you're doing like a water-based holiday our gopro is actually broken so i won't be taking hours but it's really cool to have and obviously you can dive with them and snorkel and whatnot and um, what else so these little bags are so, so valuable. So they are Ziploc bags, they're reusable, and they are just such a godsend for travel. They're really brilliant, they come in all these different sizes, and um, especially if you like to like keep things organized, they're super handy. So I'll usually label them, and I'll have like my dedicated ones for like camera stuff, for skincare for the plane. This one is like TSA friendly, and it's um, like the allocated size for taking on a plane for liquids. I'll use it for like, you know, face masks, for makeup, for SD cards, like there's so many different uses, dog treats when Vino comes with this, and um, there's so many uses for them. So these are just so, so handy, and you can reuse them, and you can label them, and they're just like, just one of those things that are really useful for travel. Uh, in terms of toiletries, I'm not gonna list off all of my toiletries because we would be here for days, um, but a couple of things that I did just get from Shopper today, I'm gonna be taking my La Roche-Posay Effaclar face wash, which is my favorite, and what I'll actually do if I'm going on a trip for like a week, two weeks, a few days, whatever, I will actually just transfer uh, the product into a little bottle like this. Um, you can get these from the drugstore and it's obviously better than taking this bottle, which is like 400 ml. I don't need to waste space in my suitcase. And that means if it does leak or whatever, then I don't basically waste and, and lose a whole bottle. So I will usually transfer like shampoos and uh, like face wash and stuff into these little bottles and it's really handy. Also gonna be taking a little micellar water. It's always useful to have, as well as my trusty La Roche-Posay Telerian spray and um, this is honestly one of the best products I have ever used in my entire life I will use this forever because it's so good and um, especially for where you're gonna be by the ocean you're gonna be in the pool you're gonna be in the sun it's just such a versatile product it's so hydrating it's so refreshing it calms down irritation I have eczema and I get quite itchy skin so this is like just the best thing ever for me um, and also gonna be taking again La Roche-Posay <laughs> can you tell I love the brand um, my La Roche-Posay uh, Lipicar uh, AP Plus balm which is an amazing moisturizer also great for travel for winter if you have dry skin for summer when you're out on the beach and your skin gets dry and you've been in the sun this is just an amazing um moisturizer uh, really good if you have eczema also great on babies so you can use it for the whole family so yeah that's kind of my very very high level toiletries obviously gonna be taking like sun cream moisturizer makeup brushes all that jazz but I won't bore you with all of those things. Another really useful thing to take is some Barocco or like vitamin C tablets. These ones just dissolve in water. I will always take these with me when I travel. I'll always have one on the plane and um, it just helps to give you a bit of an, an immune boost and some energy. Uh, what else do we have? Obviously got a water bottle, which is really helpful, especially if you're going somewhere hot and, and you know you're gonna be drinking a lot of water. It's nice to have a bottle with you so you don't have to be buying plastic bottles all the time. It's definitely a more eco-friendly choice. Uh, in terms of a bag, I'm gonna be taking my DB backpack with me, which I got a few months ago. And it is honestly the coolest 
coolest backpack. I have struggled for a while to find a cool backpack that I liked, that was cool and trendy and um, looked nice but also was functional at the same time. So this is a really cool brand and the thing I love about this backpack is it opens up like a suitcase. So rather being top loading, it opens up like that and basically you can actually buy like inserts for photography gear, which I do want to get. But it opens up, it's got like pockets here, you can fit loads of stuff in here and it means that you're not like rummaging through your entire bag. Everything stays nice and organized. There's loads of like little zip pockets. And then at the top, there is also a zip pocket here. So you can put like keys and phone and lip balm and whatever in there and um, everything is really nice and organized and accessible so i'm definitely taking that bag i love it and um they have it in lots of nice colors otherwise i guess it's just like outfits really so um i like to just take pieces that are versatile and not too heavy i love like these little aritzia crop tops because you can just wear them with anything you can wear them with like a really nice pair of trousers i got these really cute Zara high-waisted trousers that are like kind of floor length and wide leg. I got them off Poshmark actually, which I've been really loving shopping on Poshmark. I found so many good things, sold loads of great things. Um, so I'll leave a link to my Poshmark account if you want to go and check anything out because I'm selling lots of stuff. Um, but like these white trousers with this blue top is such a cute little outfit with like trainers or sandals or like maybe these kind of sandals um, or heels, like pieces like that I find are really good to have with you when you travel just because you can dress them up or dress them down and um, also you know you're not taking loads and loads of clothes with you. I also like these Abercrombie bodysuits which are just like super versatile, I have one in black and one in white and again you can wear it with like a nice pair of trousers with a pair of denim shorts. I love these Aritzia shorts as well because they're like paper bag style high-waisted really flattering and um, you can tie them at the waist and again you can dress them up and dress them down so i quite like to take like more staple pieces that you can wear in lots of different ways i'm also going to be taking this cute billabong shirt which is like just flowy and nice and um, easy and you can just throw it on at the beach or by the pool or whatever um as well as a few nice dresses to be honest i haven't fully decided what outfits i'm going to be taking um because i need to like figure that out but i've just got everything out and then i'm going to decide um but yeah like dresses like this are super cute for a more like summery or tropical holiday got a nice long dress that i got from lulu's a long time ago which is really cute it's got a nice slit with the front so yeah just kind of like to opt for like pretty pieces but also things that can be swapped and mishmashed and worn in lots of different ways and then obviously going to be taking like jewelry and makeup and beauty and that kind of thing going to be wearing my mayari rings which i mentioned in one of my recent youtube videos where i talked through the whole collection obviously got my necklace on and i'll be wearing all of my pieces because i love wearing them and i wear them all the time and then another thing which i always like to take with me is a bum bag slash fanny pack depending on where you're from. <laughs> um, this one I got, I got it from ASOS last year and it is just so useful to have. I like to wear it like across my body and I always take it with me when I travel. I actually quite like to wear this at the airport um, and just keep like my phone, my AirPods, my passport, my keys and stuff in here so that they're always on me and not in my bag just in case like anything happens to my bag or whatever um, and it's just easy to have those with you and this is great you know just for travel for walking around it's a lot safer if you want to just have everything just here for hiking it's great so you know your hands are free you don't have a bag on you so this is a really useful thing to take on any kind of holiday to be honest and obviously it's nice and lightweight and um, it doesn't really count as like an extra like personal item when you fly either and so I quite like that um yeah and obviously taking like a beach bag and some evening clothes and stuff like that but this would be a very long video if I go through all of those things so I'm trying to keep this short and sweet but it's already quite long already so I do apologize that is pretty much it obviously everyone packs differently as well I would love to say that I'm a super light packer but I'm not and I've come to terms with that as much as I travel I'm also not great at packing light and I like to have options which is why it's quite nice to have like versatile pieces that you can like mix and match and um, hopefully that's given you a few ideas and I will try and link as many of the things that I mentioned in the description box down below if you want to go and check them out but thank you so much I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in my next video bye